Hi there Fabric Jugglers, today we're going to be looking at the ever popular uh, knit foot from the 32 piece presser foot collection. This has been a much requested tutorial and I think the first person that actually requested this was Tori Robin. I hope I've pronounced that correctly for you. Um, so if we stick around and then you'll see how to, to use this rather complicated looking foot, although not quite as complex as its big brother, um, with a stretch knit fabric. So here we have the actual presser foot itself, the presser foot in question. Um, if I just take you around the foot itself to begin with, we obviously have the large control piece which actually works the spring at the back. So you may be able to see the spring, hopefully this is close enough that you can. And that spring and this arm control um, this little blue bit of, of plasticised rubber. Um, and as that moves up and down, maybe you can see it better from the reverse, this little piece here pulls through the top layer of fabric. So you've got feed dogs um, on your sewing machine which pull along the lower layer of fabric. Um, but this little, little baby here controls the, the top. This is a very small and simple version, the baby sister if you like, of a more traditional walking foot which has a, a lot a large, a large, more complex armature, um, and there are a couple of extra bits of, um, of foot included, and all sorts of mechanics. And this one needs to be attached using the actual screw, whereas the um, <clears throat> the baby sister version, as I like to call it, is is simply a bar attachment, the same as as the the majority of the other feet in the thirty two foot collection. So I will put a link to the, the very complicated walking foot, um, but obviously this tutorial is all about how to use the simpler um, knit foot. So I'm gonna move the camera around so you can actually see me attaching it to the sewing machine because that in itself is, is really crucial. After that, it's all very simple. So we need to make sure that it's attached correctly to the sewing machine. So bear with me while I just make sure the camera's in the right position. Whilst attaching this to the sewing machine is actually a very simple process, I am trying to do this from the wrong side um, with a camera in my face. So please bear with me if, um, if I make this look like a bit of a dog's dinner. But it is actually very straightforward. You have the bar that attaches the, um, the needle and you need to make sure that this piece goes above that bar. Uh, we don't want it underneath because then everything will jam up. We need it to be above so that it then works works that plastic foot down here. Um, and again, as, as with all the others, it is a simple bar attachment. So let's see if I can do this sort of back to front and around the wrong side. Make sure that the presser foot is raised. Make sure that this piece is coming above. If we get it wrong, it will come below and then, then all sorts of problems will happen. So you need to make sure that it is going in above. And then once that's in place, then you can align the lower bar and then drop that down into position and then push this little release if it doesn't automatically drop in. And so from the side, hopefully you can see that this back bar is now up above the holder for the needle and everything else is in place. So we'll now turn the sewing machine around so you can see the foot in motion without any thread. Well, hopefully this will be a good enough view for you to, to see what's happening. If we pop the light on, does that work? I don't know that that actually helps. So again, from here you can see that the, um, the bar goes up above the, uh, the needle holder. And as this moves up and down, you'll see this is now being released, so the blue foot is moving forward and it's up and the blue foot is down. So as you can see, it is controlled by the movement of the needle itself. So I'll just pop some thread in and then you can see that working for real. Here we have it threaded up like normal um, and a piece of, of knit fabric which we're just going to sew gently around the corner so you can see this in motion. Yeah. 
as you can see it's feeding evenly I'm not having to to worry about passing anything through pushing or pulling it's working it entirely by itself around that curve and there we have the stitch and stitch on the reverse and it's all moved through quite happily uh, to be a nice firm even let's move that back a bit so you can see it and here it's given a nice firm even stitch line so it is that simple um, it's all about just finding how to put the foot on once it's on everything else just runs through as you would expect a normal foot to sew uh, without the pulling or the dragging so hopefully this will allow you to sew with confidence using stretchy knit fabrics which can be a bit tricky from time to time um, and if so, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any other requests, suggestions or challenges, then please drop those in the comments below. Um, as always, feel free to share, like, comment um, and subscribe to the channel. I release um, new videos every Tuesday and every Thursday. So if you've got any suggestions for um, future videos or indeed which feet in this collection you're actually most interested in please put those comments below and um, and I will get cracking um, if you come up with a suggestion and you're one of the first or indeed the first to come up with that suggestion and it actually becomes a tutorial then you'll get a shout out in the video as well so hopefully I will speak to you soon bye for now